When it comes to electric fence offsets, there's quite a few on the market. Today, I'm having a look at the new Horsley Wholesale Live Loop Electric Offset, and I'm finding out what features it has that set it apart from others, and why Sam and Megan, the brains behind Horsley Wholesale, decided to make their own. <laughs> Sam, how you going, mate? Hey, good, Tim. Yourself, how you been? So Sam, when you own a rural wholesaler and an engineering business and you can't find what you want, you just make it. You do, Tim. Now there's a few really cool features with this offset. We'll go through them slowly. Yep. Um, the first is it's made of stainless steel on both ends. That's correct. Tell me a little bit about the steel. 304 stainless. So it's not marine grade, it's not food grade, but it's still 304. Close enough, so it's Close nice enough. and strong. Absolutely. The bolt and nut, you actually changed out the bolts that were originally with this and you've yeah. gone with a heavier bolt? We've so gone with a heavier bolt and a better grade bolt and there's still 304 grade stainless. So still be careful when you're using your rattle gun to do them up. Listen, Obviously don't be an idiot. Yeah, yeah. But as long as you're not silly, they shouldn't break. No, they won't break. Now, this is a live loop design, isn't it? There's an insulator in the middle. You've gone with porcelain. You don't like plastic? No, we, we go through all the hassles of put porcelain ends and gal posts. I didn't want plastic in the fence, so I've got a big fear that one day a fire will go through and all the plastics will melt, okay. all the, um, not enough UV in them and they'll snap. I want to do it once and never touch it again. Porcelain does have that reputation, doesn't it? Yep. As long as you seal the ends. Now, you've sealed the ends of this as well? Both, e both ends are lacquered, yep, okay. which was actually quite a problem because they had to find a way to hold the porcelain fire it and lacquer it in one motion right that was so quite interesting you had to do a fair bit of research on that one but the reason for lacquering it is ingress of water is that correct that's correct so if you have a frosty morning after rain or something like that the porcelain doesn't absorb the moisture and won't crack expands and contracts that's correct yeah right so now this is a live end design or, or yep. whatever you want to call it so there's actually a gap in the middle and in that gap, you've actually got a scallop here. Now that serves two purposes, I believe. That's right. It 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 actually adds strength, believe it or not. That's, that's what, bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I had a gentleman point that out. It's not something that Sam worked out. It was a gentleman pointed it out to me, and that's what they did on wagon wheels to give the the okay. spoke strength. Um, so it, by chance, it gives it strength. But what it also does, if, if the wire changes direction, like goes up and down a hill or a So bit the fence goes over the top of the hill, hill down in a gully. Yep. yep. You and can this is going to be pulled, pulled up, up or pulled down. down. You can just tie a piece of wire around that and hold it up. That's really clever. So this is actually a tie-off point so that you can triangular brace your standoffs. That's right. If they're going to collapse on you going up or downhill. That's exactly what it is. Sam, what a brilliant piece of kit, mate. And they're really strong. I mean, you cannot bend this at all. Yeah. They're not gonna they're not gonna let you down, are they? No, no, they don't. And and even if they like if you know feral pigs or something hit them at a great rate of knots, yep. they are they they will just take the abuse. Well, if you guys are interested in porcelain live end standoffs for your fence that can cope with changes in direction and not conform to the terrain get on to Horsley Wholesale they deliver throughout Australia and if you live overseas well, talk to Megan nicely she might send She'll something to it. you always she's a pretty good chick eh? if you like this kind of thing and you want to find out about new products make sure you hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up and there are channel memberships if you want early access to videos and other perks Sam thanks very much mate always Tim pleasure Come down. Oh, 